Hi, my name's Katie and welcome to my channel. In this video today, we're going to finally finish off the Peninsula Tank hardscape. It was looking quite nice before I moved house. I had to move about three, four weeks ago and I have let the tank go a little bit since then. Let me show you what we're dealing with. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world. It's definitely not its best version of itself right now. All the fish are healthy, the water is fine and everything. It's just the tank looks a little bit catastrophic because I have not cleaned algae off the glass at all. The lights aren't really the color I want them to be because I don't have the shades for them yet and so it's glaring into my eyes when I sit on the couch and stuff. So they're not looking awesome. As you can see, it's just a huge mess. So I'm looking forward to fixing this so that it actually looks good again and I can walk into my house and like what I see. So I'm gonna to go to Mad Aquariums, my local fish store, and I thought that I'd bring the camera along so you can have a little bit of a look at the store too. I have done a tour there before. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the bio of this video, but let's go check it out and see what they've got there and get everything that we need to get this looking decent again. For anyone who has not had the pleasure to move house, before it sucks I feel like I've been recovering for like a month now just from moving even though I moved just a few townhouses from where I was let me just show you the tank at the very front which is the one that always catches my eye when I walk in I always have to come and have a look at it and all of the fish in here I love the giant gourami and I think they're actually selling the baby giant gouramis too at the moment they also do beautiful scapes and setups here and have tanks on display uh, which are always really nice to look up look at and they change them as well quite often they have some really nice aqua one tanks these days like i love the rimless look so nice and simple tough to get some aqua soil and some fish food and that's really all I need. Might have a look at some of the plants I've got too. We might grab some um, to put on top of the cliff face that we're going to make as well. But we'll see how we go. I got home a few hours ago but it was late afternoon so I just stopped and had a break and had dinner and stuff. But all my plants are here. I'll show you what I got in the end. I just got some jungle vowel, um, some like lilies and stuff as well to pop in there and then I just got some hair grass as well to see how that goes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the rocks out so that I can get around and clean all of this glass and then I'll take the logs out as well and we're basically just going to start from scratch. Okay, so as this continues to drain, I'm leaving just a couple of rocks in there because I do have plecos that like to hide. I think you can see my L333 just there, looking beautiful. We'll just leave it like that, getting some of the poo and the mulm and stuff out that's been caused by the driftwood. And let's go and actually get our sand washed because this is just sand from Bunnings and I think it's called coarse sand. It's really cheap, it's like, 20 kilograms for seven dollars or eight dollars but it's really dirty and we're gonna have to put a lot of filter floss in the sump to get all of the particles out even after washing it out heaps Originally what I was doing is I had a 3D background that I used to have for my bearded dragon enclosure that I wasn't using and I tried cutting that to bend it and then hold it together with zippy ties and use that as my cliff face and I was going to fill that up with aqua soil and sand and plant all of my plants in there. However, I decided that I wasn't very happy with how it looked. I didn't like the juxtaposition of that with the actual real rock. I just didn't find that it looked natural enough and also Upon talking to Jack at Mad Aquariums, I found out that if I was going to add a bunch of aqua soil, it would be best to take the fish out because there could be a spike in ammonia from the soil. What I ended up opting for was I took that out and I just put natural rock in and tried to make it more of a gradual kind of river bank instead of such a big obvious cliff face. This is my blue lotus or blue lily um, plant that I've got up here that's been flowering a bit. I'll show you a picture of how that looks when it was like actually open because it was really nice but 
today is the day that we're going to fix this tank and the first thing I need to do is I need to um, get some sand and I need to wash my sand. We're going to do that first and then we're going to figure out from there basically how much sand we're going to need to put in here and to get this scape looking a bit better finally. Alright, so what I've done is I have drained the tank and all of the fish are currently in the sump at the moment. I've washed all of the sand, so if you have a look over here, I've got three buckets full of sand that I've washed, kind of poorly. It's currently midnight at the moment and it took me that much procrastination all day to actually wash the sand. I did not want to wash this sand, that is what I've been putting off this whole time and it didn't even take that long but it's all done. I'm going to put the rock in first and then I'm going to try and put the sand around it as well because I've realized now too that it makes it look more natural when you've got sand all around the rocks. So I'm just slowly building it up and I'm not trying to think too much about where I place stuff. I'm just kind of letting it fall where it sits okay. I'm just filling up the tank at the moment and then I'm going to empty it just to try and clear it up a little bit. I will use just filter floss probably to try and get most of the debris out but as you can see, trust the process, I think it's going to look good in the end. Um, I filled up that hole there in between the rocks with the aqua soil and I just put some in the log as well because I thought it could look cool maybe having some plants in there. See how everything stays together as well, how the sand looks once there's some water in there, see if anything needs to be held down and we'll see how we're going. Everything all stayed put which was good, nothing floated which I'm amazed. Normally I always do escape and then I put the water in and everything just floats and it's really annoying. Alrighty, so it's now two days later and the tank has had a little bit of time to clear up. Still not perfectly clear, but it's clear enough for me to be able to show you what we're looking at here and how it's going so far. So, I'll turn this around. Now, I'm still not actually happy with it, but it's progress. So all of the sand is in there, which is great. Like That's a good start since that was the thing that was making me procrastinate a lot. So. What I'm thinking needs to be done is this driftwood needs to come up a bit further and kind of blend in more with this higher riverbank kind of area here and that rock will get removed as well. That's just there to hold that driftwood down. And then I'm thinking this uh, lotus actually needs to come up here so that all of the greenery and plants are more where that like riverbank kind of area is. I'm trialing out to see how this plant goes growing in the log but I think that could look really pretty if we can get that to work and I may be able to position this log so that some of the light comes through the log and that could look really cool it could be a nice artistic kind of effect I like how it's looking here a little bit more because it's got that extra greenery and you can see too how on this side this cliff face looks a lot more kind of natural because of how the rocks are sitting with the sand in between them like that looks more like a real riverbank what you would generally see so i've decided to go for that more natural look opposed to having the two like really obvious higher bits Next week on Saturday, I am going to catch some wild rainbow fish and that's going to give me the opportunity to, to actually see what their natural environment looks like. I might try and move a little bit of the driftwood at the moment, but it is probably going to you know, make it all messy again and hard to see. So I wanted to do this part of the video before I do that so you can at least see where we're at and then we can keep making this a process. Because even with my African cichlid tank, even though it looks really nice now, I wasn't always doing YouTube when I was setting that up and it took me almost a year to actually get my African cichlid tank to look nice and look how I wanted so this type of stuff generally takes me a very long time. Hopefully you're enjoying seeing the process anyway. I got rid of that piece of driftwood that was floating even though it was nice it was just so annoying and I did have another piece that I'd got which is just a Dymax piece of driftwood. I'm keen to see what it looks like when it clears up a bit but I think we're getting a better look now that it's more built up here with the rock and there's a bit of rock that goes throughout it but most of the driftwood and the plants and stuff are on this end which is like what you would see with like a typical like river setting. I'm pretty happy with it on this side too like it's all looking nice and natural and riverish so I'm actually so excited to see what this looks like when it clears up. Now the other thing I just remembered too is I got the shades to put on the lights so let me pop them up and see if it makes a bit of a difference to how much the light is like bleeding out from the tank. 
it took a while to get these because the people who were sending them kept forgetting to look on the box because on the box it ticks what actual light it's for and the people at the like hardware place or the outlet warehouse whatever you call it didn't know to look at that and so they sent me ones that were way too small and then ones that were way too big but finally we've got the ones that are just right so the shades are on it doesn't help quite as much for sitting on the couch as I had hoped it would, but in terms of looking at the tank from the side, it definitely helps not having the light glaring into your face. They literally just sit on there, like you just hang them on there because there's little kind of lines or like crevices for it to just sit into. Really don't think I'm gonna have time to wait for it to clear to put in this video anyway, but I will show you on Instagram. If you follow me at katies underscore cichlids, then I'll post an update of this when it actually clears up for you to see. And you'll get to see it in my next video too. So next week on Saturday, I'm going to catch some wild rainbow fish and I'll show you then as well how the tank's going. And I think it's gonna be really awesome being able to see it like all finished. I might add some more plants and stuff and then adding the rainbow fish into it. I think it's going to be so nice. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel too and you can turn on the little bell notification to get notified when I do upload a new video. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.